I don't know if you guys know, season three stars Dave Annabel, and it's really just <sighs> him, the whole, I heard oh God, all only 10 episodes. Man. If only. Because Got Lee's you. death was such a defining moment of the first season, I think every time you can charge Lee up with significance, you understand better where Kevin is operating from, like where John is operating yeah. from. Like Lee's death set all of this in motion in part. Yeah, it made it real for him, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think it's so, like that chasing John everywhere he goes, like Lee chasing John, I think is a really kind of powerful motif. So I'd love to see Dave Annabelle come back and play Lee in some more recent flashbacks. Be back with one of the guys. Yeah. <laughs> in terms of flashbacks, I, I hope that they touch on Casey's time in uh, the war. In the war in Iraq. That's the Navy Cross. You wouldn't believe what I had to do to get that one. You know, that would just open up a whole nother avenue. You want to hear a war story? If it helps explain the man looking at me. And world within where we are that does connect and, and see things that we haven't seen that will make sense to watch. Yeah, I think it's part of what's so exciting about the story is the story really starts in the middle. Like, the story starts on the other side of so much mm -hmm. trauma and action and, like, so many defining events and now getting to sort of just getting hints at what came before is so exciting and, like, helps heighten the circumstances mm -hmm. and the stakes mm -hmm. contemporarily. So I'd, I'd love... I think Josh Lucas is an amazing actor, so I'd love to see more young John stuff. I'd love to see more young Beth stuff. I think Casey is really, that stuff's really fun. Just to see the family structure, like I think I would be very interested in just seeing them sitting at a dinner table and what that conversation looks like with all of those kids, you know, and John at the helm and all of them having their own ideas and wants and needs and like the way that they need to experience love and to kind of see that and how it's kind of progressed. I think that, I mean, cause even, you know, in this season, even in the other uh, season one, where it's like when they're all together, there's such tension. What? And there's such frustration and there's so many things that are not being said. So it would be kind of interesting just to kind of see the spread of how the ranch got bigger, how they started accumulating people to come and work and kind of just watching the kind of the ranch be what it is, you know, this dark horse in a way, you know, that just kind of does what it wants.